Kip. It's Kip to win the first set. And a 9-3 run since the timeout called by Hanif Park. Valeria Papa continues her service run as Van Buskirk tips. And a free ball opportunity out of system for Murr. Rejected! Ronica Stone gives San Diego their first lead. Eichenloff. Four inches of difference between her and Edwards, and a free ball comes. Eichenloff in right front. They'll go after her and win it! Saren Rogers, the hero! Coast! Wow. Second place last season, the champions here in 2024. With the Million Dollar Championship just two weeks away, the Pro Volleyball Federation Match of the Week centers on Columbus, Ohio, as the Fury control their destiny and host the probable two seed Omaha Supernovas next on CBS Sports Network. As we head down the final stretch of this inaugural PVF season, it could not be any tighter. With the top four teams playing in Omaha 11 days from today, and after San Diego's win this afternoon at Grand Rapids, it's the final two spots and four teams pining after them. With Atlanta and Omaha, the only two that have clinched, we welcome you into a raucous crowd here at Nationwide Arena. So delighted to be with you alongside the former pro setter and Cameron Irwin. I'm Daniel Gilman. And well, it's been do or die the past two weeks for Columbus. How does the mindset change here into the final week? Well, the mindset has been every single match in the last two weeks has been an elimination match. And now they are coming off of a loss, but I love that the mentality is all about resetting, refocusing, and getting ready to really push and fight against this Supernovas team, who is, by the way, one of the deepest in the league. These teams split their first two meetings, but Cameron, the lineups look a ton different. For the third time this season, Temi thomas Zylara registers 19 or more points right on the jersey number as we welcome our player of the match here courtside alongside Victoria Dennis and Daniel Gilman. Temi thomas Zylara, congratulations. I have to ask you, as a rookie in this league, what's the difference between going on the road compared to in college? Oh, going on the road compared to in college? I feel like it's pretty similar. Um, I will say the hotels have been a lot bigger because <laughs> we're in some pretty big cities, whereas in the Big Ten, some of the cities are kind of small. Um, but overall, I feel like it's pretty similar. And then as you take a look at a 6 nothing deficit in the first set, what was the conversation from your head coach in that early timeout? It was kind of like, find your rhythm. One set apiece here in Columbus, Ohio, as Coach Kuhn Pretty content with how that second set finished. It was Stephanie Stamity who started and finished the set with a bang. And it's impressive what she's been able to put together in this second set. She was a little bit quiet in set one, but I believe she came away with about four kills, including three in the front row, one in the back row, and you can see where she can do the damage. I really like that set being pushed out to the antenna. There's the final ace from Samity from the service line, but that is one of the biggest difference makers from set one to set two for the Supernovas. Meanwhile, the dig numbers are just outrageous. 53 digs in two sets for Omaha. And the block points edge for the Fury. Yeah, we gotta say Kendall White's name a little bit more because she has been impressive. It's almost like you become so accustomed to her finding these crazy and wild digs that you almost kind of forget about it. But you can't because she has just been so solid. Now all the way up to 12 total digs in those first two sets alone. She is flying all over the floor. One of three supernovas that have already reached double-digit digs. Samity has 10. Valentina Anderson with 14. Stephanie Samity, who finished the set with an ace. Now on defense, ready to roll. The set goes to Dela Cruz. And the side out starts our third. We mentioned it earlier, but if you're just joining us, San Diego defeated Grand Rapids. The two of them now have 10 wins in the three and four spot. Columbus with eight wins, truly needs one here today, but the block shows up for Samity and Dixon in a 2-0 lead. That is an adjustment from Samity and Dixon. I've said it a few times, as Reagan Cooper kind of likes to take this inside approach and attack from that logo, especially out of sight out. Love the adjustment on the block of the Supernovas to stay inside. Perfect tip by Kip. 
tough when you got somebody that can have not only great power from a high contact point like Kendall Kip, you always think, okay, I gotta watch out. I'm gonna sit back, get ready to kind of fly around. But next thing you know, she'll also add the finesse into her game. Catches you while you're on your heels. Seven kills on 23 swings for Kim. It is a busy day in the volleyball world. UCLA won the NCAA Men's Volleyball Championship in a four-set win at Long Beach earlier. Meanwhile, in the Nebraska volleyball world, the Huskers had their spring scrimmage in Kearney a few hours ago. I'm sure everybody knows, but volleyball just means a little bit different in the great state of Nebraska. Awesome showcase in two weeks. Look at the coverage. White continues to deny the block. just built in Columbus. Unreal blocking, one after another after another. It is a daunting task when you get blocked, and I would say the Supernovas are doing a nice job, job on their coverage play, but man, it can be mentally just daunting when you see that block after block after block. That could be a momentum shift right here for Columbus. I have a feeling as this match goes on, we will have more and more of those breaks as these stellar athletes work their tails off in an arena that is not as cold as you would think with ice under the court. Talk about ice in the veins of Betty De La Cruz with a great selling. <laughs> She's high-stepping her way back to her home base. That is just impressive, not only after we just talked about with that block pressure on the side of the Fury. Coming right back and challenging that block and coming away with yet another point. DLC to serve. That is tipped on the line by Dixon. Nunaviller had a wild whack. It was Doug, but a heads up play in the middle. I don't know what's up with these outsides of finding some of these angles back cross court, but it is just so impressive. Great footwork as she launches heavily into the interior of the court and still finds that really nice swing. Cooper tries the sharp cross, and it will not stay alive. You better be ready as the off blocker. That means the blocker that is pulling off the net that is not a part of the blocking scheme. So for that instance, it's Brooke Nunaviller, and right now it's Reagan Cooper on the opposite side when the outsides are attacking. That was as aesthetically pleasing as a ramp up to the serve as you get. Kip spinning the ball on her hand. And now a clean termination by Reagan Cooper. 15 points to lead all scorers. She is no doubt a diamond in her first season with the PVF. So, so fun to see just her ability to find different swings, different attacks. Coming away with an ace right now as well are the Columbus Fury. That is the first ace of the night for Columbus. Serve pressure, always an X factor. Volleyball game is Kip ready again. It is wide by Nunaviller. And Kendall's got her own celebration too, a little Kip Kip hooray behind us. <laughs> it's got me laughing. That was creative. Way to go, Columbus. <laughs> Fury fans hoping to make that. 800 mile trek west to Omaha in 11 days. Two spots, four teams, but Vegas slim odds. A forced dump and Stringer has a second kill. That's the second time we've seen Stringer go up, recognizing the ball that's coming her direction and getting aggressive. Love to see that as a front row setter, creating some of her own opportunities and making that block stay honest. 
There's only one in front of her right now. She could get after it. Cooper. They've put someone in that left front defense spot. Samity again with the sharp cross. That was a definitive snap from Samity on the right side. Just those last two steps, really aggressive, getting underneath the ball. She's not necessarily flying through it. It's tougher as a right-handed player on the right side. Your approach is a little bit shortened because of some of the angles and the way the ball is coming over the setter's head, but really love that last and final two steps from Samity, creating the quick snap and the heavy angle. Just two points in set one. Seven since Stephanie Samity. Kendall Kipp has been battling a hamstring injury. Just a couple practices before that Atlanta match, so keep tabs on her legs. Oh, that eats up Samity on another Fury block. The neck gobbler, that's the worst. The redirect, not much you can do there as that ball finds Samity. Taking us into the media break. Block number eight for the Columbus Fury. As we will step away in this high-powered, high-level matchup.